Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of Round the Twist. This is going to be kind of short because I don't have a whole lot more to tell you. Um, on my wheel, the Diabolical uh, 7525 uh, Blue Face Luster Silk Blend. This is the first half. It is done. Finish that tonight at, um, at Stitch and Bitch down at Whole Foods. First half done. Second half. Hang on. Okay, get Beatrice up here. Second half is coming along. I'm, this is the beginning of the first chunk of it. I've probably got three or four more chunks to go. Uh, but I made good progress tonight. I felt good about that. Still spinning that on the 27 and a half to one ratio, and I'll be plying it up on my Lendrum. Then sending it off to um, Hedgehog Knitter Fire Angel on Ravelry. I've linked to her before for her... Uh, Pakistan Flood Relief Fundraiser as a raffle prize. So uh, if you want to win some hand spun from me, basically donate uh, $5. For each $5 you donate to like Doctors Without Borders, Red Cross, one of the uh, big international um, aid relief groups. Send Abby a um, send Abby an email she will put put your name in the drawing for once for every five dollars that you put in, and she's got some great prizes up, including what will be hand spun from me. Uh, so yeah, that's what's on the wheel. I have no idea what I'm gonna spin when that's done because of the mess behind me still. Uh, so moving into various and sundry other things, the craft room. I'm in my painting clothes. Well, hello, Phoebe. Um, as soon as we finish up here and I get this uploaded, I am going to move into the craft room, slap a second paint and coat on the walls. Um, I got all my cutting in done last week and then I need to take up all the plastic and get, get it back and get everything ready because I ended up ordering my bookshelves. It's not, okay. I should say I have never bought anything from Ikea before. I've never been to an Ikea store. Closest one to me is in the Twin Cities or Dallas, Texas, I believe, is the other closest one. But closest one, miles-wise, is the Twin Cities in, up in Minnesota. So I had been going to order the bookshelves I talked about last week. I went online to order them on Monday evening. $350 shipping. <laughs> and they were not going to be delivered until, like, November 8th. So I said, uh, no thank you, empty cart, and I just did an online uh, Google search for bookshelves with glass doors, and I found a fantastic place uh, called HomeDecorators.com, which I guess is an affiliate of Home Depot. I don't know. They've got, it, it looks like it's fabulous furniture. It's all kind of the same as Ikea, flat pack stuff in terms of bookshelves, and then you assemble it when it gets here. So I ordered four smaller bookshelves than what I was planning. They're like two feet wide and six feet tall. They have glass doors on the front. They're white, which is what I wanted in the first place. Um, so I'm excited about that. I ordered those at like 3.30 Tuesday morning. I was up anyway. Why not? And they're going to be delivered tomorrow, today, however you want to put it, Thursday. So fabulous, fabulous fast service. I'm very excited about that. So I will be able to get rid of everything behind me get it hopefully mostly sorted, if not completely this weekend, and back into the craft room where it belongs. Um, so yeah, I really have to get that second coat of paint on the walls, and oh, do you want to come up and say hello? Come here. Or not. No, she just wants attention. Sorry, no Phoebe cameo. Come here, Goop. Come here. Oh, no, now we're in a playful mood. Hang on, actually, I'll be able to get a shot of her. We're going to be moving here again, people, so I'm sorry. Get your Phoebe fix while you can. Where's the fibbers? Can you say hello? Tell them. Say hi. Okay. Obviously, she's not in a talkative mood, but there, you've had your Phoebe face. Oh, and now we want to dance in a circle. And this is probably because I... Come here. Okay, no. This is probably because... Mm. 
puppy. This is why I normally give her a rawhide and it keeps her occupied a little longer. Um, she probably wants me to go and feed her. Actually, it's a wonder who runs this household near the dog. This is why I don't get a second one. I don't want to be outnumbered in my own house. So yeah, I'm going to go paint and hopefully next week I'll have more knitting to show you, but I doubt it because I'll spend the weekend not knitting and organizing that. Oh, my one other thing, I'm going to be going to the Nebraska Knit and Crochet Guild um, retreat. Not this weekend, but next weekend down at Mahoney State Park. So all the local people, hi. I have finally decided tonight that I will be there. And yeah, I think that's it. I see paint trays in my future, very near future. And I will see you guys next week. Until then, happy knitting.